Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my Windows 10 tutorial. So I'm going to explain to you guys the benefits of using Windows 10 as opposed to Windows 7 and Windows 8. First of all, Windows 10 is much faster, much more stable. I love it. I think it's the fastest operating system out of all three of them. Also, you will see that the uh, they added the start button at the bottom left again, but it's not the same start button we remember from Windows 7. It's more of the start button from Windows 7 and 8. Windows 10 overall is like Windows 7 and Windows 8 had a baby and made Windows 10. Uh, as you can see, the start button or the start tiles are moved right next to the start button. So uh, you can also see right here that they actually organize the settings file explorer and all applications. So any application you want to find on your computer, you can find it there. Also, anything in settings, you can find it under settings right here. So if you want to look for the control panel, you just type in control, and you can see the second one says control panel. Uh, you can type in power, and you can see it says power options on the fourth one. Uh, common sense tells you anything in settings you will find under the settings section. Uh, file explorer right here. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't already know that uh, this folder right here is the same thing as the subfolder here saying File Explorer. So this just saves you a step of a click and you could just click the folder and it opens up the File Explorer. So right here uh, you will see something that says Recent File. So anytime you open up a file and you want to go back to it later, you will find it here so you don't have to navigate to it. Uh, very organized. I love it. Uh, much better than Windows 7 or 8's layouts. So if you go to the bottom right, you will see this little notification where it says no new notifications, for me at least. But if you click that, you will have a side panel open. Okay, now here you have your brightness settings, battery saver, Bluetooth, VPN. Uh, also, this feature for the computers that turn into tablets, such as my computer, which uh, I'm using the Dell XPS 12, when I want to go to tablet mode, I can go ahead and use tablet mode. They make it very, very easy. Now, if you want to go back to the regular mode, you just click that, uh, that little notification symbol again and click tablet mode off. So that's very nice. Also, the tiles you can expand in and out, uh, which is great. I love that. And, uh, Windows 10, like I said, uh, is much faster and much more stable. And that is why I do want to keep it. I don't want to actually go back to Windows 7 or Windows 8. It just takes a bit getting used to at first. So if you're jumping from Windows 7 to Windows 10, it's kind of like a big jump, just like if you were to go from 7 to 8.1. But overall, once you get used to it, it's great. Uh, now, if we go to the store, you will see that you still do need a Microsoft account to access the store and download anything you want. Also, if you want to search the web and Windows, that's what this uh, section is for right here. So if you want to go to Google.com, you can actually just type here Google, and you will see it comes up as Google.com as a search suggestion. Uh, also, including everything in your computer that has to do with Google. So that's nice. Uh, this little settings button gives you this new feature called Cortana, which gives you reminders and all that stuff. I really don't need it, I don't use it. But for other people who might do a lot of business and things like that, uh, this would be a pretty good suggestion. Otherwise, you could just use your phone, really. But uh, right here is the provided feedback, so you could say what you like, dislike, ideas for Windows 10, and they will, you can submit them and they will review them. Uh, so this right here is the uh, another new feature of Windows 10 uh, it's kind of like a I want to say not like a full-on Siri from iPhone but it does cool stuff like that you can find things with your voice and do all that cool stuff uh, I'm not really interested in that it just makes things so much more difficult later on for me at least so I'm sure I don't want that so if you click no on that you will see this Bing preview and these are just shortcuts to, you know, news that's going on and all that. So that's really just a quick, fast tutorial of Windows 10. I really don't know much yet about it. I need to, I need to search some more.
but it does seem pretty organized in terms of in terms of organizing your files and locations of the computer and settings made it much easier in that sense to navigate so that's it for windows 10 this is just a quick tutorial on how to get started and i hope i gave you guys an overall basic idea of how windows 10 works like I said, it's kind of like Windows 7 and Windows 8 combined it and made Windows 10. In reality, that's what it is. So if I helped you guys out, please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys. Peace out.